the last micro talk is apparently on what Twitter? I don't know, maybe. Okay. I don't know about you guys. It's more rambling. Yeah, so here we probably. Go. Woo when I'm sitting there at my desk pretending like I'm working, Brian can see me, so I've got to pretend like I'm working, waiting for the next video game developer or press Twitter blow up legally is just the funniest thing. I don't know if you guys do that during the day. Someone blows up. I didn't mean to say oh, I've been fired by my publisher. Anyway, I'm going to talk about Twitter right now. Who here knows what Twitter is? <laughs> A few hands. Who uses Twitter? You're all disgusting social media junkies. Um, I don't know what that makes me. Uh, I'm going to talk about Twitter and how one might start a handle, the things one might think about when starting a handle, and why might one why, why one might want one. So, starting a Twitter handle, what is Twitter good for? Twitter is good at giving a voice to an entity. There's a Twitter handle out there called at Q underscore Jeremy. No one really follows it because I'm not very interesting, but it gives me, my entity, a voice in the internet. If people want to hear my voice, if they want to engage with the entity that is me, poor them, but they can, they can press follow and get more at Q underscore Jeremy. If they want an interesting person, they could follow at Steve Rock Arm and hear all about interesting game development. That's Steve's entity. That's on with an A-N. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same as promoting, that's right. That's taking Steve out of this room and all the knowledge that I know is in Steve's head, which is fantastic, and putting it out there in the world. So anywhere on this planet, anyone can get access to this entity. That is wonderful when it comes to video games because traditionally, a video game developer that wanted to get their word out, that wanted to spread their entity out into the world, would have to go through press, publisher, uh, some other third party to get to people, to get to players. But Twitter's great because you don't have to do that. You can engage directly with anyone that's interested in the natural selection to entity, or the, who knows, maybe there's a game coming from Underworlds that already has a Twitter handle, and if people are interested in it, they'll be able to follow that soon. So how do you create something like that? How do you go, how do you go about creating one of those entities? Well, does anyone in here think that creating a Twitter handle and getting a following on it is easy? No, okay. When you start out, you've got zero zilch, and it sucks, doesn't it? Because you're posting, and nobody's listening. And Brian, make sure I don't go over time. Because you're fine. Okay, I'm fine. If nobody's listening, you've got zero followers, and then maybe in five days, after posting on every gaming forum in the universe, You've got two followers and you feel like an absolute rock star. And after a very long time, I can't remember when App NS2 was started, but it was a long time ago. I mean, the development of NS2 wasn't very long, but the Twitter handle to get to 13,000 or whatever it's at right now took a very long time. And now there's a meaningful audience that engages with that NS2 on a regular basis. Three months ago, Unknown Worlds decided, oh, we've got App NS2, but if we do another game, Maybe we'll need another one. So we started at UE Dev, and for a long time it had two followers. Then it got to five. Now it's up to a bigger number. I won't tell you what it is, because it'll spoil my point. But the point is, why would we start a second Twitter handle, go through all that pain and suffer of being a loner in the social media universe, if we've already had one with 13,000? If I've already got a big Twitter handle, why would I want to go through all that again? Why not just keep the 13,000 <coughs> and use that for everything? And there are many examples out there on Twitter of people doing this. They'll have a game handle for a game, and it will evolve into their big handle. And I, I don't mean to say this is good or bad, I'm just presenting an a, a possibility here. For example, Runic Games has a huge Twitter following, and I know that Wonder Russell, and you can follow it at Wonder Russell, is one of the best Twitter users out there, but they've got one handle for all their games and all their stuff. Guess how many Twitter handles are coming out of Unknown Worlds right now on a daily basis? Just someone put a hand up and have a guess. I've already told you about two, but guess how many there are. Red shirt, right up the back. Go for it, how many? I was going to guess like between five and eight. Between five and eight, it's a very clever guess. I, don't actually, I can't do maths when I've had one for you, but I believe it to be around eight as well. So we have a lot of Twitter handles coming out of these office. Why? Why not just use that original app NS2, 13,000 following, and keep it? Why do we start at UED? Why do I constantly retweet at Brian number one? Occasionally retweet myself, how lame is that? Often retweet at Steve Rock Arm. The reason can be explained by me standing in three different locations on this floor. The first location is Brian. He occasionally talks about programming stuff. He also comments on the state of the world and generally sprouts hilarity in 140 character form. Here is at UEDev, Unknown Worlds, the, the company, and here is at NS2. Let's see if I can remember these three positions. That's going to be a real 
three videos. <laughs> it's so far beyond my capacity. All right. Let's say that. Who's laughing at me? Let's say at NS2 releases a new patch. This is fantastic. This needs to go out on at NS2. This is great fun. Okay, new patch release. Good. 13,000 people have got it. At UE Dev standing here and going, hey, that's related to me. That's that's pretty cool. And that's something that at UE Dev followers as being interested in the world are probably going to be interested in. I'll retweet that. Okay, another 3,000 people with some overlap. I've got it. Then he gets to Brian number one. Brian number one's worked really hard on this patch. So he goes, I'm pretty related to that. I'm going to retweet that too. That's gone out there to his followers, whatever. Now, second example, I'm back at NS2 and someone has sent me a funny link to say one of the developers of Unknown Worlds wearing a pink unicorn costume. Okay, that's pretty funny. If I'm really into NS2 and I'm big on the NS2 community, I might have a laugh at that. So, cool, I'm following out NS2 and I've got it. That's great. At UE Dev standing here, that's really funny, and retweets it. Brian number one standing here goes, that's really funny too, and retweets it. And the people following these two handles go, what is this? I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm interested in the Brian entity. I'm interested in the Unknown Worlds entity of this space. I'm not interested in looking at Unknown Worlds developers in arseless chaps. So what you've done there is you've taken people who are interested in your entity, you're sending your entity out into the world, and you've given them something that they weren't expecting out of that entity. People that use one big Twitter handle for everything often say, but I've got lots of followers, and this is how I've got lots of followers, and I'll keep them because I want to be able to do lots of stuff. I put it to you that having one 13,000 follower Twitter handle, one three follower Twitter handle, and one one follower Twitter handle is far better. It will cost you more work, but it means you can separate those entities. And it's like trade between countries. Anything good that comes out of one entity that can uh, be can be, say some, Brian says something about code and I retweet that on NS2, that's great. The people that are interested at, in at NS2 are interested in what his entity is doing, but 90% of the time they're not. But that entity has been made richer. And by the beauty of the retweet, one Twitter handle can bring in, as happens in this underworld office every day, eight, nine. You make it richer and you don't piss off everyone that's out there with all those other entities and you make each one stronger in the process. And that's it.